Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever the case may be. Uh, I get a lot of questions on what is your silver target. <clears throat> well, to me, I think in the intermediate to long term, let's say 10, 20, 30 years, you're going to look at a price of silvers being over $700. Um, that's a pretty dramatic rise from where it is right now, but if anything, it'll teach people that they don't even want to own dollars. Like, if, if there's that much inflation and, and let's say silver goes up to 700 in the next 10 years or 20, um, people wouldn't even want to turn it in for paper. So it'll, it'll approach uh, hyperinflation and there won't be enough silver to satisfy the demand at these prices or even at much much higher prices so you're gonna see a scramble of people trying to get out of the paper wealth and they you know, they're gonna to try to get into actual physical wealth and um, you know people don't realize that you know the US is only five percent of the world population yet sixty percent of all transactions are done in dollars there's more do US hundred dollar bills than there are one in one dollar bills in circulation right now um, and they're even going after the war on cash crazy they even want to do away f with the hundred dollar bill so eventually all this um, you know congress is working to put bills in to have investors from different states not pay taxes on capital gains which makes sense because what is money and what is capital gains on top of money it's a it's a um, the government is far far reaching overreaching their stance you know trying to tax wealth um, out of existence and they don't realize that that's not the economic driver for uh, and when you when you come to terms with the free market um, and prices and quantity uh, supplied and demanded um, they're trying to actually dictate and say well we don't even like you doing that you don't we don't even like you doing crypto we don't like you converting uh, money into you know fiat dollars into silver you know they can hone in on any um, argument that they can try to establish um, to try to make their central bank money notes appear to be more valuable than real hard money so that's what we're going up against and the war of, on cash eventually ends with the war on gold um, the citizens don't even know that uh, you weren't even allowed to own any gold in the you know since they made it legal and this was not too long ago in the 70s um, they actually could try to make silver illegal or, or gold illegal again but it's not going to work because we have um, buyers all around the world international chinese uh, russian um, you, you know many many um, different countries are now taking delivery on their gold and so it leaves just a huge opportunity for the individual investor to scoop up silver at these prices um, it's no one's going to force you to do it no one you know there's not going to be an alarm bell saying uh, yeah you got to get more right now um, it, it's something that people just do with their as an instinct to survive um, the hyper the next wave of inflation that's coming um, so with that being said you know um, keep stacking, keep uh, collecting, and keep on doing what you're doing. There's all different sorts of silver techniques in investing and collecting and trading silver. So I hope everyone finds good videos on YouTube and is able to create good videos on YouTube. 
I have to admit I have not been able to take the time in order to figure out how to make a little bit more higher quality videos and sometimes when I go live my internet connection is so weak I get cut off so I'm using a wireless internet connection so um, I'm just trying to figure this out and in the meantime I'm practicing making videos okay thanks peace out